Hi guys, for the last few days I've been running with the new Panasonic S1 and I don't want to bore you again with the video specifications of what it can shoot internally and what it will do when the paid firmware update will come. I just want to share with you some images that I took in three different scenarios. Daytime, indoor and a low light situation. While getting to know the new Panasonic S1 in Barcelona was nice, I felt there is much more to explore, so I decided to dedicate some extra time to review the camera and I took it for a spin here in Vienna. Before I forget, all the images you see were taken with a pre-production S1 model, so the image quality is not final. Everything you see I shot handheld. The camera is heavy, big and robust. It feels like a DSLR, and this is not necessarily a bad thing. I ran with it for hours, and it felt very comfortable in my hands. The in-body stabilization system is working like a treat. And if you want even a smoother performance, just turn the e-stabilization on. This will activate the digital stabilization system on top of the mechanical one. You will notice a small crop, but to my eyes, there was hardly any visible loss of picture quality. Later, during the early evening, I was invited by a friend to celebrate the Vietnamese New Year. It's similar to the Chinese one, and that's a lot of fun. The big rooms were lit well, but the color temperature was a complete mishmash, so I left the camera on auto white balance. I also tried to work with both manual and autofocus. Unfortunately, the results when using autofocus are not consistent. I'm an old-fashioned guy and I really like working with EVF. And the electronic viewfinder in the new Panasonic S1 is simply very nice. It's the best I've seen in any of the mirrorless cameras. Maybe the Leica SL has a similar one. And now, let's talk about the low light capability of the camera. This is simply insane. The only time that I saw something similar, it was when working with some Sony cameras. You can comfortably shoot as a documentary filmmaker anywhere, at any place. And of course, there is some noise, but it all depends what you're doing and what you're shooting. But all in all, this is a really all-around camera in the sense that lack of light is not a problem. Let me conclude my opinion about the Panasonic S1 camera. When it comes to video shooting, I think it's a very capable camera. The thing is, we got spoiled. And one of the companies to spoil us is Panasonic. If I look at the GH5 and GH5S cameras, those can shoot 4 to 2, 10 bit, all intra and a very high data rate internally. I hope that Panasonic will consider to do or to produce a similar camera like the S1, but with all those goodies that we are talking about inside. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.